So this is just an update on the Red Sea Max uh, 130C. Two clownfish are playing the anemone here. I've got my frag of green star polyp. I'm trying to, um, if you can see that little piece that's growing off the frag disc, I'm trying to get that to spread onto the rock itself. Oh, the clownfish are attracted to the camera. I apologize. And um, I also have a piece of green star polyp growing at the opposite end of the rock. And hopefully they can grow and um, convene and almost cover this rock. Uh, I just want something to, like, you know, uh, cover the tank, sort of. And then I've got this awesome Acan frag. Um, looks gorgeous. It's got quite a few heads, actually. It grows all the way around. It's uh, pretty great. I um, I did attach it to the rock with some uh, like the uh, like the clay, um, like epoxy type thing, and uh, that that was pretty easy. It only took like a minute, and then this Kenya tree opened up again because it dropped a branch. And then just in that little crevice of rock again, you can just barely make out a feather duster worm. And um, he's in there. And then this is my green plate coral that I got. Another, um, another LPS coral. And uh, he is awesome. Uh, basically, you feed him the same way you do your acans. And he eats through that center mouth bit right there in the right there in the center and he is just terrific he's so cool and um, then I got my little cane tree frag up at the frag tray again he's doing good and uh, yeah that's that's how we stand with the reef it's doing well yeah thanks for watching guys